They didn't want you then, but they want you now. Hey everybody, welcome to the Mindset Elevator. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on this video. I hope you guys have been keeping yourselves healthy, well, feeling great, all right? Thank you so much for the ongoing support to all those who watch the videos, who viewed the live streams. You guys are heavily appreciated and definitely seen, so thank you guys very much, okay? We're gonna talk about the fact that a lot of people didn't want you back then, but they want you now, all right? They didn't see your value from before, but they see it now. These days, they do. Maybe in the past, people thought that you would chase them, and so they didn't really take you seriously or didn't see you someone you as someone who was worth chasing or didn't see you as someone who was worth investing in because they're the people who are used to being invested and in, being chased, right? Until they saw that you weren't about that, you know? Like, if it's not going to be equal give and take, if it's not going to be, you know, cool between you and them, if it's going to be wasting your time, you're going to boogie and that's what you probably did. And so a lot of people want you back now because they see that, wow, like you added a lot of value to them. You added a lot of um, joy to their lives. You added a lot of stamina to their lives, you know, a lot of vibrance. And this is why a lot of times people want you to come back. All right. Or they want to be let back into your life to be in your good graces these days. Okay. And a lot of times people want to have you back as well, because they see that you're growing yourself, that you've grown your business, you've grown your mind, right? Whereas maybe in the past, they didn't really see the full extent of how brilliant you were, how smart, resourceful you were, how much of a joy you were to be around. People take advantage of a good thing or a good person um, and they don't really see until it's all gone, until you're not there or until they don't have access to a certain aspect of their lives anymore, okay? And so I truly believe that people will want you to come back around or they want to be let back around these days they want a second chance they want to be in your good graces like i said and you know it's because you're up now right and i guess it's kind of shallow if you think about it because if they didn't see you up before right then what was this connection for what was it all for and you're gonna find uh you're gonna come to find as i've come to find right that a lot of connections that we may be a part of are purely superficial all right. They're only for the image. They're only for the pictures. And beyond that, there is no substance. And, you know, and it's sad because a lot of times we could be pursuing something that we believe will be long standing, long lasting, that will be good for our soul, our heart, you know, for our lives. Right. And then we start seeing that, wow, like a lot of these connections or situations just aren't good for us. Right. And so we start seeking other things and, you know, getting away from what is not serving us. Right. Which is good. You know, we should get away from what is not good for us. Right. A lot of people did not realize how vital you were in their lives. It could be anybody, though. It could definitely be romantic people, you know, people from the past, people that maybe you were trying to pursue or you thought was interested in you as well. And you saw they were playing the field. They weren't really serious about you specifically. They had a lot of choices. They weren't serious about you, even though you may have been very serious about them. And so now when all of their options have dried up for whatever reason, usually it's a multitude of reasons, right? Now these people want to come back and act like everything's cool. You know, remember me and, you know, remember when we used to hang and used to go out and go to dinners and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, that was in the past though. You know, that's not the current situation. You're on to bigger and better things. And these people really feel like they're losing out on a brilliant person because you were the real one, right? You were the real one that a lot of people just, they fail to see the real. Or if they saw that you were real, they failed to see the extent of it, right? And it's because they were used to a certain set of results or a certain type of, you know, attitude from people who would suit them, you know? And so it could be definitely romantically uh, inclined. It could also be family, right? Where people take advantage of you of your, from your bloodline. Definitely people who think that, you know, you're always going to do this for them. You're always going to be there. Anything, anytime something pops off, you're going to be there. You know, you're going to be ready to, you know, <laughs> deal with whatever until you're not because you realize you are being used and played, right, by your own relatives, you realize that they wanted to overlook your gifts and your talents 
you know, and then it's like, now they want to come around and they want to act like, oh, they always supported you. They were always there for you. They always thought that you could do it. But back then they may have hated, they may have conspired to sabotage you. They may have, you know, tried very hard to, you know, get into your head and make you believe that you weren't going to be anybody special. And so a lot of times people want to come back after the fact, not necessarily because they're apologetic, but more so, like I said, it's because they believe that, you know, you're up now, you know, you're up now. There's evidence of that. There's clear evidence. Everybody's showing you love. A lot of people are showing you support. It's clear that you have more abundance. You're happier. It's clear that everything has been working out for you where they thought it was not going to be all right. Or they were jealous and didn't want to egg you on and believe, you know, that it was going to really be something that was going to be long standing, right? So a lot of people want to come back around because they see that you are highly, highly sought after. They see that you're very successful. You keep winning. All right. And even when you lose, it's only for a little while because you're very focused. Right. And so a lot of people, you know, your family, they may want to come around you because they see that you're very stable and they can get some of that stability as well. But back then they used to diss or hate or mock or chit chat about what you thought you were doing. They always come crawling back, don't they? <laughs> or it could be ex-friends, ex-associates, right? Ex-co-workers, people who probably worked very close alongside you and saw that you were a different type of person, but they counted you out or they wanted to have some sort of beef with you, whatever the situation is. And then when all of their friends, so-called friends, right? I'm telling you, it happens. This has happened to me many times before where People will only talk to you when there's no one else to talk to. You understand? And you know because of how they move, right? They'll never see you. They'll never say nothing to you when there are other options around. Usually low vibrational options. But when you're the only person left, when you're the only person around, right? They'll come and they'll talk to you. A lot of times, once again, as years pass or months pass, they will want to hit you up. They'll want to talk to you. They'll want to be like, hey, remember me? Remember when we used to hang? It's been so long. Let's go get drinks and stuff like that. It'll never happen. And even if it does, it's like it'll, it will not be the same vibe as it used to be because you've grown. You see how people move. You see that people are not really treating you fairly. You know, people will only use you as the last resort. And I know exactly how that is, you know. Or people will give a very stiff invite. It's like, oh, I don't really want to invite her around, but let me invite her. And they give you like 12 hours to prepare. Everybody else had like a good month and knew about it a month in advance. And so you can tell when people are playing games, right? Listen, a lot of people, they want you back now. They want you around now, either because they actually regret messing things up with you, all right? People may actually regret letting you go, letting you get away, all right? Because they didn't see how amazing you were until it was too late, until you were no longer around. This could be romantic. This can be platonic friends. It could be family, people who used you. It could be the reason why, you know, people left in the first place was because of jealousy, was because of strife, of drama. You know, they wanted you to be in their problems. You weren't about that. And then when they saw that, wow, you were actually their peace. You brought peace to their life. You brought um, tranquility to their life, clarity. And now they don't have that anymore. And they see now like the problem was never you. It was whatever they were dealing with that was low vibrational and they decided to target you because they saw you weren't really a part of it, you know? So yeah, a lot of people are going to want, all right, you back. They're going to want you back. They're going to want you to be around them. They're going to want to have things from you, spend time with you. And you have to use your discernment as to whether or not these are legitimate, you know, uh, requests from these people do they really like you do they really want to be your friend do they really want to be a real family member to you do they really respect you or do they just respect what you've got now do they respect the light that you're in now do they respect that you're working hard and you're getting abundance now and that's what they want that's what they're after are they just using you to look good for in the photo is it for clout is it for the real good you know are they really proud have they really changed all of this comes down to discernment and whether or not you truly believe that these people are, you know, in it for the long haul. They're in it because of the good reasons and not because of superficial uh, aspects here, okay? So listen, a lot of people are going to want you back now. They need you back. You were the vibe. You were the party, right? 
you were the person that brought a lot of clarity, as I said earlier. You're the person that brought a lot of things to light and maybe you went a little bit deeper. You had deeper concepts. Maybe you scared some people off even in this way, thinking deeper, speaking about deeper concepts, you know, and a lot of people after the dust has settled, years have passed, months have passed, maybe weeks have passed and people come crawling back because they see that you actually you know, had a lot to offer, you had a lot to say, you had a lot to share, and they kind of miss that. And it's like I said, it's various reasons, and you have to use your discernment as to whether or not you actually want to accept this particular person or these people back into your life, okay? Because where you're going, it has to be real only. There can't be no shaky connections. There cannot be any situations where you can't trust the people around you. And this is very vital. You have to be able to trust the folks around you, be able to tell them things if you need to. And if you can't, or if you can't really come to a decision, that's a problem, right? And it has to be addressed. All right, everybody. So thank you so very much for stopping by on the Mindset Elevator today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for all of the well wishes, for all of the positivity, for all of the comments, all right? For all of the good vibes. I really appreciate it, and I'm sending all good vibes right back to each and every single one of you, okay? Thank you guys so much, and understand that, yes, some people will want you back. The big question, though, the bigger question, the biggest question is if you want them back, all right, everybody? If you want to put up with that, all right, keep going up. And elevation, you know, is going to be a little bit shaky sometimes, especially when you're an anointed person. It's not always going to be easy. But I believe with God's guidance, I believe with you believing in yourself, you will make the right choices for your particular situation, okay? Keep going up, everybody. Believe in yourselves. Love yourselves. Cater to yourselves. Take care of yourselves. And have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.